Dr. K. Raghura Mohoredi. The course name is Unconventional Machining Process. Topic is Electrode Discharge Machining and Electrode Materials. These two are the course outcomes. At the end of this session, student will be able to list the different electrode materials and its characteristics. Second one, understand the electrode wear mechanism. So here, before we going to learn the concepts, the student will be able to understand the basic electrode discharge machining process and also electrode wear mechanism. So, in the subsequent uh, lectures regarding workpiece wear mechanism, also you can learn. Right. So, before uh, going to uh, learn the things, the basic uh, non traditional machining chart that uh, we have to learn. Okay, under non traditional machining process, we have come to know mechanical, thermal, chemical, and electrochemical three broad classification will be there. So under mechanical, we have learned ultrasonic machining, water jet machining, abrasive water jet machining. So however, ice jet machining. Is so under thermal, now. We are learning the working principle of electrode discharge machining and electrode wear mechanism. So, in the next lecture, we will learn what is removal, material removal. Right. right. This is the schematic working principle of electrode discharge machining. Already we have learned this. So here, the spark will occur between the two electrodes. Okay, so this is tool. This is workpiece. So tool is considered to be cathode, that is negative, and the work is considered to be an anode, that is positive. Okay, here the workpiece is fixed to the fixer which is on the table okay here the beam of electrons will strike through this dielectric fluid medium okay right here the dielectric fluid medium is constantly pumping through filter between the two electrodes okay here DC pulse generator supply is using for the power supply. Here servo, servo controlled feed mechanism is adopted for the two moment. Okay. Right. Next. See here this is the uh, initial anode and cathode structure. Okay. So here the anode is positive, the cathode is negative. Okay, so this is the power source. Okay, when these two are come in contact at the little gap, the spark will occur. Okay, so this is the main working principle of electrode discharge machining. Okay, so the other names of electrical discharge machining. Or spark eroding, spark machining, wire erosion, and wire burning. Okay, so this electrical discharge machining is particularly suitable for hard and brittle materials. So this is the one of the prominent non-conventional machining process regarding history of electrical discharge machining. See here during World War One and World War Two. Okay, the history of electro discharge machining dates back to the days of World War One and World War Two, when BR and MI 
Najrenko invented the relaxation circuit that is called RC. Now presently the electrical discharge machining is working with this relaxation circuit RC. Okay, so we will come to know um, how this uh, relaxation circuit is connected and it's uh, working in the subsequent slides. Right. Using a simple servo controller, they maintain the gap with between the tool and the workpiece, reduced arcing and made EDM more profitable. So here the tool is controlled with the servo control mechanism and this is workpiece. This is called gap between tool and the workpiece. Evolution of EDM. Since 1914, die sinking by EDM has been refined using pulse generators, planetary and orbital motion techniques, computer numerical control, CNC. Fourth one, adaptive control systems. Okay, during computer numerical control systems evolutions, there will be huge development in electro discharge machine. Okay, right. During the 1960s, the extensive research led to progress of EDM when numerous problems related to mathematical modeling were tackled. Here, with mathematics, there would be development of Bezier and B spline curves and its surfaces. So, further, this EDM is applied to the machining of these contour surfaces. Okay, that is again comes under the CAD CAP, computer aid design and computer aid manufacturing. So, under computer aided manufacturing, computer numerical control systems were adapted predominantly. The evolution of wire EDM in the 1970s was due to the powerful generators, new wire tool electrodes, improved machine intelligence, and better flushing. Okay. So, during 1970s, because of powerful generators, new wire tool electrodes with different diameters and with different materials, improved machine intelligence. So, sophisticated uh, machinery with uh, high kind of coding to control the speed, feed, depth of cut, the wire and better flushing okay so after removal of material the material should be flushed out from the workpiece surface so that has been a predominant role played during the workpiece material removal but recently the machining speed has gone up to 20 times which has decreased, decreased machining costs by at least 30% and improved the surface finish by a factor of 15. Okay, so here the machining speed raised up to 20 times. Okay, which has decreased machining costs at least 30%. So, because of this high speed of working, machining cost has been reduced to 30% and improved the surface finish by a factor 15. So, these are the evolution details of this electrical discharge machine. Okay. 
right now let us see the advantages of electrical discharge machine edm has the following advantages first one cavities with thin walls and fine features can be produced okay cavities with thin walls very thin walls can be machine and fine features can be produced okay let us say very small narrow key like features can be produced with this electrical discharge machine second one difficult geometry is possible see usually with the b spline or bezier surface geometry is very much difficult to machine by using conventional machining process so by using electrical discharge machining we can cut or machine very complex geometry which is having multiple curved surfaces or bezier or b spline surfaces right third one the use of edm is not affected by the hardness of the work material so whatever it may be the work piece material hardness the electrical discharge machining is suitable for any kind of hardness or brittleness right fourth one the process is wear free so at the end of this electrical discharge machining all the burrs will be removed at the time of machining because of the direct process of electrical discharge as well as flushing of fluid dielectric fluid medium okay now let us come to edm electrodes and materials so first kind of electrode metals with a high melting point and good electrical conductivity are usually chosen as tool materials for edm okay so here the important point is electrical conductivity the electrodes used for electrical discharge machining must be electrically conductive okay and which must have high melting point okay so the materials should not melt at low temperatures very good right now the first one graphite graphite is a most common electrode material since it has fair wear characteristics and is easily machinable and small flush holes can be drilled into graphite electrodes okay so here the graphite is the material from carbons so which is having a fair wear characteristics okay so that's why graphite is chosen as the first electrode material okay next the second one is copper copper has good electrical discharge machining wear and better conductivity it is generally used for better finishes in the range of 0.5 microns r a okay so here the surface finish is up to 0.5 microns is possible with copper as the electrode material next copper tungsten and silver tungsten are used for making 
deep slots under poor flushing conditions especially in tungsten carbides okay right copper offers high machining rates as well as low electrode wear okay copper offers high machining rates and low electrode wear these are required properties of electrode materials right next one copper graphite copper graphite is good for cross sectional electrodes it has better electrical conductivity than graphite while the corner wear is higher okay copper graphite is better than graphite okay with respect to electrical conductivity right last one brass brass means again okay, copper plus zinc brass ensures stable sparking conditions and is normally used for specialized applications such as drilling of small holes where the high electrode wear is acceptable okay so reference is metals handbook 1980 right regarding electrode movements already we have discussed that electrode movement is due to the servo control feed mechanism okay right in addition to the servo control feed the tool electrode may have an additional rotary or orbiting motion okay so along with this servo control feed the tool may have an additional rotary or orbiting motion next one electrode rotation helps to solve the flushing difficulty encountered when machining small holes with edm okay so instead of moving linearly the electrode rotates like a drill bit it can easily flush out the workpiece material right okay right now let us see electrode parameters in addition to increase in cutting speed the quality of the hole produced is superior to that obtained using a stationary electrode okay that's what we have discussed electrode orbiting produces cavities having the shape of the electrode so whatever it may be the shape the same shape can be replicated in the workpiece as like in ultrasonic machine tool okay right the size of the electrode and the radius of the orbit determine the size of the cavities okay so usually the maximum size is 2.54 mm millimeters okay right next electrode orbiting improves flushing by creating a pumping effect of the dielectric liquid through the gap so already we have discussed that this is tool this is workpiece there would be gap so these two are completely immersed in the dielectric fluid medium and the dielectric fluid fluid medium is constantly circulating between this tool and workpiece through pump and filter okay and the removed blurs and the workpiece material will be flushing through this dielectric fluid medium 
right now let us see the electrode polarities of different materials electrode polarity depends on both the workpiece and electrode materials okay here the table is showing possible electrode polarity for different workpieces and tool combinations first let us take copper and steel okay here copper as the electrode material and steel as the work material so here work materials these four one two three four five these are the electrode materials so under electrode materials graphite copper copper tungsten steel brass okay under workpiece material steel tungsten carbide copper aluminium nickel base alloys so these are the polarities between electrode material and work material for example for graphite electrode and steel the polarities are plus minus okay but for tungsten carbide only negative polarity for copper also negative polarity see here for copper with respect to all electrodes negative only for aluminium with respect to electrode material completely positive only okay the other three are having plus minus minus plus okay combinations okay so this is what we have to observe these are very much important since these polarity will play an important role in workpiece material removal or electron material removal right now let us see the nomenclature of tool electrode okay see here tool electrode this is side wave this is end wave L E. Next corner wave. C L. This is called final shape. This is initial shape. Okay. And come to workpiece. This is machined depth. okay so how much depth the material has been removed is nothing but machine depth it may not be uniform across the workpiece okay right so these are the different types of electrode wear in electrical discharge machine what are those number 1 is side wear okay second one is end wear third one is corner wear okay so these three are the different types of electrode wear in electrical discharge machine so initially the shape is a regular prism so the, the final shape is here you check here it is having a smooth cylindrical surface okay now let us see the various ratios okay corner wear ratio that is d by lc what is d machined depth what is lc corner wear Okay, C stands for corner, L stands for wear. 
Next, side weight ratio. That is the ratio of machine depth to the side wear. Third one, end wear ratio. That is the ratio of machine depth capital D to the end wear LE. Okay, so these three are the different ratios associated to electrode wear. Now, what is volume wear ratio? That is the ratio of VW to VE. So, what is VW? Volume of the workpiece removed and VE is the volume of electrode consumed. Right. So here from this we have to find or calculate different uh, ratios related to this wave. Right. Right. Next regarding electrode wave, it has associated with different parameters right the melting point is the most important factor in determining the tool wear what is that one the melting point okay right electrode wear ratios are expressed as end wear side wear corner wear and volume wear as shown in figure 3, just we have seen this one. Okay, corner wear, side wear, end wear, and volume wear. Okay, right. The term no wear EDM occurs when the electrode to work piece wear ratio is 1% or less. Okay, so when the electrode to workpiece wear ratio is 1% or less, then it is said to be no wear. Okay, right. Electrode wear depends on a number of factors associated with the EDM, such as voltage. Current, okay, electrode material and polarity. See here the electrode material may be just we have seen. See electrode materials graphite, copper, copper tungsten, steel, brass. Okay, these are the different electrode materials and polarities we have discussed positive and negative k that is varying uh, from material to material but however for aluminium with any electrode material that is positive polarity only k and just i will show see here for copper the polarity is negative for any electrode material. For aluminium, the polarity is positive for any electrode material. Okay, this is what uh, we have discussed. Okay, right. Here, voltage, current, electrode material, and polarity, these are the various parameters associated per electrode wave. Right. Now, electrode shape effect, the change in shape of the tool electrode due to the electrode wear causes defects in the workpiece shape. And the second one is electrode wear has even more pronounced effects when it comes to micro machining applications. Okay. So, even the electrode shape also 
affects the wave. Right. However, uh, we have seen all these uh, different wear ratios, corner wear ratio, side wear ratio, and end wear ratio, even volume wear ratio. Okay. So, come to this uh, figure. Okay. The corner ratio depends on the type of electrode. See here, different electrode types are there. Okay, electrode materials x axis and y axis corner wear ratio in percentage. See here, silver tungsten is having the negative polarity. Okay, and the corner wear, wear ratio is very small. For aluminium, it has positive polarity and its corner wear, wear ratio is higher. This is higher, this is lower. Right, and this is the formula. The low melting point of aluminium is associated with the highest wear ratio. Okay, see here. That's what we have discussed. Okay, graphite has shown a low tendency to wear and has the possibility of being molded or machined into complicated electro shapes. Okay, right. See, this is the formula. The wear rate of the electrode tool material WT and the wear ratio R W described by Kalpak Jian during 1997. So, this is the formula for WT and the RW. WT is the electrode tool material and wear ratio RW. Okay. See here W2 wear rate of the tool in mm cube per minute. So, here I is the EDM current in amperes. T, suffix small t is the melting point of the tool electrode in degree centigrade. TR is the ratio of the workpiece to tool electrode melting points. Okay. Right. These are the functions of the dielectric fluids. The main functions of the dielectric fluid are to flush the eroded particles from the machining gap. Second one, provide insulation between the electrode and the workpiece. Third one, cool the section that was heated by the discharging effect. So here the dielectric fluid medium in the section, provide insulation and flush the eroded particles from the machining gear. Right. So, these are the main requirements of the EDM dielectric fluids. So, however, we will discuss all these things in detail in the next lecture. Okay. So, these are the references. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.